Hi folks, Neil here from ECS Coffee. Today we're gonna to take you through the Cafection Encore 29 Bean to Cup Coffee Brewer. Great for the office, great machine. We've been working with Cafection for about 20 years, so we know these things inside out, and this is the latest and greatest from what they have. First, I'm gonna take you through what the machine does, then I'm gonna take you through what you have to do as the office coffee client on site, as well as some of the maintenance issues and some of the things you wanna look for when you're choosing one of these machines for your office. So let's get started. This is designed for an office of about 50 to 75 people um, using the machine on a daily basis. So not necessarily the number of uh, employees you have, but the number of people that are gonna be there every day using the machine. Reason for that is you don't want the product to go stale and you wanna make sure that there's enough mo product moving through it um, to justify having that machine in your office. So let's look at this big giant screen. I actually don't know how big it is. How is it? 18 inches or so, looks like a pretty big screen. I should probably check the, the uh, technical specs on that, but I didn't. Um, you've got three coffee choices. You've got hot chocolate, French vanilla, and you have a milk powder. And what that does, it enables you to make a plethora of drinks. You have uh, the option to do three bean to cup. You can mix a 50-50 blend uh, of two of them. You can do an iced coffee. There's no ice in the machine. You gotta put a mug underneath with some ice. You have a hot water function for those that want tea. Um, energy shot and long espresso and hot shot blend. Uh, hot shot's just a, a blended mix. Oh, it's gone back to its uh, little video there. Um, long espresso and energy shot. They're not true espressos. There's gonna be shorter, stronger cups of coffee. Then we go to hot chocolate. Mochaccino, which is chocolate and, and coffee together. Vanilla coffee, vanilla choco, vanilla choco coffee. It's blending the vanilla, the chocolate, and the coffee. And then you've got your latte cappuccino, choco latte, and vanilla choco latte in the bottom. And anything that's got that latte, and you can kind of see it in the picture, is gonna have the milk powder. And it is real milk that this machine uses. It's reconstituted um, in a mixing bowl every time uh, that you make one of those drinks that requires that product. So great machine overall. And, when I, when I think about this machine, being the cup is really big in offices right now. One of my favorite ways to brew coffee is the French press. For those of you who don't know, French press. And the, uh, the gentleman behind this machine basically took a French press, flipped it upside down, added gears and motors, and put it into uh, some pretty cool technology, which we're about to show you on the inside, to get a great cup of coffee every time. So let's uh, show you guys how this machine works. We're just going to basically start with a cup of coffee. Um, we happen to have a, a very cool video which we can customize when you're not using the machine. Um, this is of our lovely store here in Burlington. Uh, but once you press start, we can choose, this is Balzac's Dark Affair, three cup sizes, small, medium, and large. These are programmable and strength sizes, uh, mild, medium, and strong. And if you want to add milk to it, you can. I don't know why you would unless you're doing the, uh, the cappuccino options, but we're gonna do a small strong and enjoy now. As the machine is working, we will play you a video. We can customize that for every workplace as well and remotely access that, um, that uh, screen and change it up if you want us to. I'm gonna show you the inside of the machine. So what's happening is you've got coffee beans going into a grinder, coming down the chute into this mixing bowl which is being added, water is being added to it. And you notice this little white guy here is moving up and it's creating a, a vacuum pressure. It's going to pull the water through the, the, the puck of coffee and hold it. We're now in, into this position here and it's actually holding, letting the coffee steep, the water, and then it's gonna brew right into your cup. And then what you'll notice afterwards is paper with the spent, the spent grounds coming out of the other side. So unlike a pressure brew or espresso coffee machine, you don't get the crema on top of the, uh, on top of the coffee. This is your traditional North American French press style coffee. Now we're gonna show you guys how the inside of the machine works making a vanilla choco coffee. So it's gonna have some coffee in it, it's gonna have some vanilla in it, it's gonna have chocolate in it. Basically the machine works for the other beverages, just similar combinations, just so you kind of see it works on the inside. So press the button, vanilla choco coffee right here. We're gonna use the blend one, which in this case is Balzac's coffee. We're gonna do a medium strength, and it's gonna be a large size, which is gonna be way too big for this cup, so I'm gonna to have to get another cup and cut away to get a bigger cup for this. We're back with a bigger mug. So now we can do the vanilla choco coffee, as mentioned. Again, we're gonna do a medium strength. It's gonna be large, because it takes a lot. And we'll see what's going on on the inside. First, we have our coffee, blend one, being ground and mixed in. 
And you'll notice this piece of paper, I'm gonna talk about that in, in a few minutes when we talk about the daily maintenance and service to these machines. So we got freshly ground coffee, smells fantastic by the way. And that Balzac stuff's pretty good. Once you see the coffee dump in, chocolate goes and manila goes. Now it looks a little splashy here because I'm doing it on the inside of the machine. But there you go, now you have vanilla, chocolate, and coffee all together. So the machine itself can do any combination. There's vanilla and chocolate. There's, there's, you can do the milk to make a cappuccino style beverage and a latte style beverage. Best thing about this machine though is actually the coffee, freshly ground every single time um, from the cup. Now we're gonna talk about the things you have to know about this machine. Any coffee service provider is going to uh, love and hate these machines because they are great machines, they make a great quality product, but there is some daily maintenance. So if you are gonna get one of these in your office, you wanna be aware of some of the things you need to do on a regular basis to keep the machine functioning. Um, as a coffee service provider, we're gonna come in and clean the machine on a regular basis. When we're here, we're gonna fill up the machine, we're gonna take care of all that preventative maintenance stuff, but you do have to do things like fill the coffee up when it runs out. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do that. There's actually a couple ways you can do it. Um, on this particular machine, you can take the key, you can pop it in the top. I'm not quite tall enough. Average height for a guy, as I like to say. You can turn it and you have access to your three coffee beans right here. As well, you have access to your milk, hopper, and your chocolate and your vanilla right in here as well. That's the easy way to do it. More difficult way to do it, put that on properly. I'll put that on in a second. Is you can actually remove these, turn these up like this, and you can actually take the hopper out. A little more challenging to do it. I don't recommend that, but sometimes it's necessary. Beans can also come out by pulling this way and slide the entire thing out. That's pretty good if you have cabinets above. Sometimes you kind of need that. So that's basically it for the daily maintenance, other than you're gonna have to, to rinse the machine, which is the menu, I can, we can get into that if, if we need to, uh, with the client on site. The other thing that needs to be done is these coffee grounds. And you can kind of see, if you wanna come in a little closer and have a look in here, this machine is set up um, to dump inside the machine. So each time a cup of coffee is made, it's gonna require that the spent coffee grounds go somewhere. Uh, if you design your office kitchen correctly, we'll be able to cut a hole in the counter and go into a garbage bin down below. That's ideal, it means you don't have to do this um, every day. You can go into a big garbage bin. If you have that ability, that is ideal, it saves you a lot of headaches. Otherwise, you do have to come in when this is full and it has a counter, so it tells you what needs to be done. Take this guy out and then you can compost this product and clean out in here while you're, while you're at it. That's the basic maintenance for this machine. That's gonna get you 90% of what you need to do. Everything else is done by the coffee service provider. So with the confection machine, we've got some very, very neat technology that goes into it as well. Uh, we can actually remote monitor this via the internet, which is great if there's ever machine issues. So we can actually be, be notified if there's an issue before it happens and diagnose it remotely. Uh, it's one of the only machines in the market, I think, that does that. Uh, inside the menu, reset, waste bin is in here. Um, Reset waste bin counter. This is what you do on a daily basis, cleaning and sanitizing. It's basically gonna um, help you go through the daily maintenance uh, of the machine, adjusting your product levels if you need to. It's all in there and we can again, access this remotely. So if there's ever any issues, we can actually log into the machine and have a look at it, which is fantastic. So we've got great Canadian technology, bean to cup machine, very, very cool display. I'm gonna exit the service mode. Um, multiple coffee choices and really just a fantastic cup of coffee at the end of the day because it's basically a French press. You can't get any better than that. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, pop over to the website ecscoffeeservice.com. Um, you can always contact me, Neil, and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.